Uncle Ron Jones of Warrenjeri Elder for Welcome to the Country. Uncle Ron Jones from the Warrenjeri people, a Warrenjeri Elder. Uncle Ron, welcome. Welcome. Woman Jake, a big everyone. That's a bit better. I was just saying before, people can pick up and hear this, that uh, the Victoria market here is a very sacred site to Aboriginal people. Not only Aboriginal people, but Euron people as well, because this was the first actual cemetery of, of Melbourne. So that building that I was just talking about up the top end there, of uh, top end of um, Swanson Street there on the old um, County and Ida Brewery, that Aboriginal man's image is my great great grand uncle William Burry. So his spirit looks down over this market here because that's where his son is buried in this market. And his spirit is still here today. So we have a, quite a lot of Aboriginal people that are still buried in this market. Plus we have, um, we have quite a lot of European people too that is buried in this market. A lot of people don't realise where they are walking today. They are walking on their ancestors and um, other ancestors of other nations that uh, come here over 200 years ago. So um, we within the Wurundjeri, we're very proud and to come and do this for the Turkish community, when I was just saying 68 years um, that they've been here for, you know, when I think back, over 68 years ago, our people weren't even counted in this country, we weren't even residents in this country. So it was only to the late eight, uh, 60s when Aboriginal people were recognised and they could be counted in this country and they could vote. So, um, you know, we, we've been taken away from our country for over 30,000 years and, and when you think of it, we've been treated as um, fauna and flora in this country for over um, 300 years, so um, things are certainly changing. So it's pretty, I suppose, similar to a lot of Turkish um, history, and it's uh, similar to a lot of Aboriginal history. So it, it's a great pleasure to come and do this, and I'd like to bring Jameer up on stage here and give him a present from the Wurundjeri people. I'm going to give him a kulam, which is a kulam is about... Uh, bringing food, carrying food, and I'm going to give you two clip sticks. So, um, on behalf of Wondry Council, um, Jameer, I'd like to hand this to you. And this is from our people. And another thing I'd like to say too, I'd like to acknowledge any past and present Torres Strait and Aboriginal people that may be here, but all people that are here today. We acknowledge all elders that are here from all different communities and that. So, Jameer, this is a... Uh, a, a gift from the Wundry people to you and the gum leaf there is to keep you safe and with that gift, safe on country. So I hand out a, gum, a leaf to everyone here but I'll have too many but I'll take it on your behalf and that's to keep you safe while you're on Aboriginal co country and on the Wundry country. So it's your day, I'd love to keep talking all day but I've got to let other people have a go and do some talking too. So thank you for having me and the Turkish community will give me a great chance to come and welcome people into our country. So um, enjoy the day. Woman Jerry will be again. Welcome to the country. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Uncle Ron. Thank you, Uncle Ron. Thank you, Uncle Ron. Thank you, Australian community, because the first community for the Australia. The, um, thank you. Very important for me. This time. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for Jamia. It'll be great if we've seen that little, uh, the chap that's walking around with that um, uh, drink machine that he's got on his back and if people have a look, it'll be great if we had the Aboriginal flag, which he has had the Aboriginal flag and if we have Vicky's here today. Next year, thank you Joy for that, so it'll be a great pleasure. Thanks again today. Thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle Ron, from the Warrenjeri people. Thank you, Ron. Thank you for having us here. Thank you. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would just like to uh, acknowledge the VIPs in attendance, and then I would like to invite to the stage to make their speech the other VIPs. We have Ms. Beck Maria Van Bakinu MP, Federal Member for Colwell, the Honourable Bruce Atkinson, uh, President of the Legislative Council of Victoria, the Honourable Lily D'Ambrosio, MP, Minister for Energy and Environment, Mr. Frank McGuire, MP, Member for Broadmeadows, Councillors Karen Sherry and Naim Kurt from the Hume City Council, Deputy Commission Commissioner Andrew Crisp from the Victorian Police, Ms. Rosario Zara, Commissioner, Victorian Multicultural Commission, Mr. Mehmet Uchar, Consul Republic of the Turkey, Mr. Hassan Sayar, Honorary Consul, Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus. 
Mr. Joe Caputo, OAM, Director of Ethnic Communities Council of Victoria, Mr. Mustafa, e Mr. Ibrahim Özdemir, Managing Director of Hickney Dairy Foods, who is uh, one of our major sponsors, Mr. Osman Kuyruk, Director of Rose Panels, who is also one of our major sponsors, uh, Mr. Nejmi Kul, Director of Sultan Halal Meats and Poultry, one of our major sponsors, Mr. Mehmet Erjihan, Founder of Sultan Turkish Delight, sponsor, Mr. Yasin Musa, African Australian Multicultural Youth Employment Service, and of course, Mr. Jamal Akdeniz OAM, President of the Moorland Turkish Association. But first of all, ladies and gentlemen, can we please have Ms. Natalie Suleyman, MP, State Member for St Albans, representing Minister Scott. Natalie, can you please come to the stage for your speech? And if I've got it wrong, can you please correct me? If I've got your title wrong, can you please correct it? Thank you very much. Um, I'm honoured to be here today uh, to represent the Premier of Victoria, Daniel Andrews, and of course the Minister for Multicultural Affairs, uh, the Honourable Robin Scott. Um, before I begin, I'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of this land and pay my respects to their elders, both past and present. Uh, there are many distinguished guests here, um, but I'd like to specifically uh, acknowledge my parliamentary colleague, uh, Frank McGuire, uh, the member for Broadmeadows, the heartland, I must say, of the Turkish community of Victoria, and, of course, Bruce Atkinson, who is the Upper House uh, President. Uh, the many members, both federal, uh, the many councillors that are here, uh, of course, my good friend, Husband Staffer from the Commonwealth Bank. Lovely to see you again this week. Uh, the representatives from BMC, community leaders, but most importantly, the Turkish community here again to celebrate. Last week, we had the celebrations of the 70th anniversary of the Turkish Cypriots in sunshine in my electorate. And what a fantastic event that was. And today we celebrate the 50 years, 50 years of settlement of the Turkish community to Victoria. I, as the, uh, the first Victorian Member of Parliament of Turkish Heritage, uh, I'm extremely um, honoured but also a little bit emotional to be here today because I know, like my parents, like each and every one of the Turkish community have a story to tell, a story a migrant story of our parents migrating here, making that sacrifice, that challenge. And, you know, coming out to Australia, a country where we have opportunity, a country where we can do, you know, just about anything we want. And today we are extremely proud, and I am proud of the Turkish community because we have achieved so much together from the corporate sector, banking, teaching, um, and many other sectors. We've each made our mark in the Victorian and Australian community. And that really highlights the integral part that the Turkish community have had in the Australian multicultural story. And as I said, like my parents, we all have stories. Stories of first settling here and um, our rich traditions, our culture, our language is very much alive after 50 years and I'm extremely honoured about that. May we have another 50 years for the Turkish community in Victoria where we celebrate a day like today in the middle of Melbourne. This is so symbolic each year and I want to thank Jamal Abdeniz for his contribution and he has been outstanding as a community leader. Each year this festival grows from strength to strength and it shows the popularity not only in the Turkish community but in all communities across Melbourne. So on behalf of the Victorian Government, thank you very much to the Turkish community for your contribution. Thank you, Natalie, for that 
Beautiful speech. Ladies and gentlemen, next I have Councillor Philip Lee Liu, selected to the City of Melbourne in 2017. He chairs the Council's international engagement portfolio. He is passionate about multiculturalism and has a particular interest in supporting international students to fulfil their role as an integral part of our community. He has worked as a management consultant and with a non-profit organisation promoting relationships between Australia and China. Ladies and gentlemen, Councillor Philip Lee Liu. I hope I pronounced it correctly. I think that's the best introduction I've got ever since I've left the council. And uh, first and foremost, I would like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land I've recently met and uh, pay my respects to the elders past and present. Um, what a great day to be here at QBM. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a market, it's buzzing, and it's great that the Turkish community here as well. Um, it's great to be here with you to celebrate the 2018 Commonwealth Bank Turkish Bazaar Festival. Um, and look, I just want to say that City of Melbourne actually supports most really love supporting multiculturalism. We are a very diverse, inclusive city. It's one that we are very happy to support. Um, look, I don't want to get too much because there's a lot of dignitaries here and I want to just also acknowledge them as well. But the fact is, you know, it's mostly the community and the people here who actually come out and come celebrate the culture. And I always say that, you know, to pass on the traditions, we have to celebrate it, you know, year on year so that we don't forget it. And so it's great to see so many people here again and everything. Um, we are home to more than 247 nationalities. Uh, we speak 234 languages and we practice 140 religious faith. And that is what Melbourne is about. So again, City of Melbourne is proud to support this festival and we look forward to having it again here at the great QBM. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Councillor Philip Lee Liu. Ladies and gentlemen, next one is a new one because he's never been here before at our uh, at our festival but ladies and gentlemen i'd like to invite on stage senator dr richard di natale the leader of the australian greens was elected to the senate for victoria in 2010 and then 2016 a medical doctor by training his professional and political life has been based around his interests in health sport and multiculturalism. We welcome him today to the Turkish Bazaar Festival for the first time, Dr. Richard Di Natale. Marhaban. <laughs> um, I just want to say firstly that we are on Aboriginal land. I want to pay respects to Elders past and present. Let me acknowledge uh, my colleague Adam Pulford who will be our candidate for Wills. Wills of course having a huge Turkish community and a community that makes uh, our uh, community of Victoria a vibrant, uh, more diverse and a wonderful, wonderful place. Uh, it's 50 years since Turkish settlement here in Victoria, 70 years of course since the uh, uh, Turkish community from Cyprus uh, came to Australia. So we celebrate the fact that people who have come from the other side of the world have come here to enrich our lives. We often talk about multiculturalism as something that offers uh, a new start to people coming to Australia. But what it offers all of us in Australia is an opportunity to learn from a new culture and learning from that culture, exchanging ideas, our values makes us all stronger. It, multiculturalism is a wonderful thing because it doesn't just benefit those people who come here from across the world, it benefits all of us. We have a stronger, more vibrant, more, more diverse community because of the Turkish community and the role they've played here over many, many years. Scientists, footballers, sports people, politicians. The Turkish community have brought so much here. Not, not just the wonderful food, the dance, the costumes, not just the dress, but of course, a different way of understanding and seeing the world. And one that allows us to learn from that and to grow from that and to move on as a nation together, stronger, better, more united. So this is an opportunity to pay thanks to you, to pay thanks to your community, to pay thanks to the Moreland Turkish Association for all the wonderful work that you do. 
and I hope that this is the first of many Turkish bazaars that I can celebrate with you. Thank you so much. All the best in the elections. Ladies and gentlemen, next we have Mr. Mehmet Küçük Sakallı, the Consul General for the Turkish Republic. He joined the Turkish Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1995 and has served in positions in Ankara and in Turkish embassies and consulates general around the world. He was appointed as the Turkish Consul General in Melbourne in 2014. Welcome Mr. Hussein Küçük Sakallı. Mehmet Küçük Sakallı, sorry. Where did I get Hussein from? Fark etmez, no problem, no problem. Good evening, uh, good afternoon everybody. Uh, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, honorable uh, state and federal MPs, dignitaries, hanımefendiler, beyefendiler, hepinizi sevgiyle, saygıyla selamlıyorum. What a great celebration, what a great reflection of Turkish culture in the right, in the right heart of the city. It's, it's very proud it's with its multicultural nature. And um, since yesterday morning, bands have been playing best pieces of the Turkish music here in this festival. Artists, they are showing their talent and skills and re uh, reflecting the Turkish culture and art. Tur business run by Turkish Australians, they do present their services and products to a wider community. What a great celebration, what a great gathering. So I am very proud and the Turkish Council is very proud to be a part of this great festival and the supporter of this festival. Of course, um, this is a reflection of a great Turkish culture, cult Turkish cultural life in, in Melbourne. As we all know, this reflection is stand on a success story, story of the Turkish migration that started 50 years ago. So, um, during the last 50 years, Turkish people, Turkish migrants, came to Australia and including Melbourne, they settled down here and they preserved their cultural heritage and they are very proud and they are representing very well their cultural heritage in Australia. On this occasion, let me to congratulate each and every member of the Turkish community, men and women, for their courage, for their great effort and hard working in well representing the Turkish culture in Melbourne. So um, this festival is is in 11th year now, 11 times. This uh, great venue is hosting this Turkish festival, and I am sure that it will continue in the future, and it will continue to be a part of the Melbourne uh, cultural agenda. So um, on this occasion, let me congratulate all of you, each one, each and every of you who participated in this event. Uh, businesses, um, sponsors, participants, guests, uh, everyone including of course the Moreland uh, Cultural Association is, and its president Mr. Jamal Akdeniz and his team. I commend their uh, great work uh, uh, to realize, to, to make uh, this great gathering together. Um, congratulations and uh, as, we, as, as I told you, this year marks the 50th anniversary of the Turkish migration to Australia and throughout the year uh, there will be some more events uh, will be held. So, let me say a few words in Turkish. Değerli misafirler, hanımefendiler, beyefendiler, hepinize ben çok teşekkür ediyorum. Türk kültürünü uh, bu güzel ülkede temsil ettiğiniz ve yaşattığınız için Ve inanıyorum ki sizler bu kültüre sahip çıktığınız sürece önümüzdeki günlerde de, önümüzdeki yıllarda da bu güzel kültürümüz Avustralya'da yaşamaya devam edecektir. Hepinize çok teşekkür ediyorum. Sevgiler, saygılar. Turkish Consul, Turkish Consul General for Melbourne, Mr. Mehmet Kısıksakalı. Next we have the Honorable Inga Pulic, MP, pronounced Paulic. I hope I've got it right. Born in Bosnia, Herzegovina and is an upper house member for the southeastern metropolitan region. She is currently the Shadow Minister for Multicultural Affairs and Shadow Minister for Scrutiny of Government. Today she is also representing the Honourable Matthew Guy, Member of Parliament, Leader of the Opposition, Inga Pulic, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much and I'm delighted to be able to join you for such a wonderful uh, celebration and that, that is the long-standing relationship between Turkey and Australia and to celebrate the achievements of the Turkish community uh, here, uh, especially of course in Victoria. Thank you for the generous in, um, introduction. I'm sorry I'm a little late. 
car parking is an issue. So if there are any City of Melbourne councillors, speak to them to fix it up. Could I acknowledge all of the distinguished guests, the part, my parliamentary colleagues, uh, uh, Natalie Salaman and Frank McGuire, uh, and, and the uh, President of the Upper House, the Honourable Bruce Atkinson, who's a terrific supporter of multicultural communities. I'd also like to acknowledge the uh, Consul General, uh, Mr. Mehmet Kulcid Kasali, and uh, an icon of the Turkish community in terms of what, what has been achieved, and that is our very good friend, uh, Has Mustafa. Uh, could I also acknowledge the organisers, the President of the Moorland uh, Turkish Association, and all of those volunteers and sponsors of this event. I remember coming here when we migrated to Australia in 1967, the year that the relationship was formed between Australia and Turkey. We migrated and this is where we did our shopping every Saturday. In actual fact, you could buy uh, some, uh, an entire wardrobe of clothing, often second hand, here for a few dollars. And uh, that, this was commonplace, of course, for many migrants who came to Australia to build a new life uh, for them and their families. On behalf of the Leader of the State Opposition, the Honourable Matthew Guy, I extend to you the greetings, uh, the, uh, the commendation for the achievements that you have, the strong commitment to family, to your community, to maintaining the Turkish culture, um, which is a, an incredible legacy. Of course, as a Bosnian-born uh, Australian, I know that in my own culture, the influence of the, Turk, of the Ottoman Empire after 450 years has been long-standing and remains today in language, in cuisine, in culture and tradition, uh, and, it's some, and music, something that of course uh, gives me a strong affin affinity with the Tur Tur Turkish community. So without further ado, could I just say, uh, you have been wonderful contributors to our multiculturalism. May that continue, stay true to uh, your values, your commitment to Australia, maintaining your own culture and enjoy the celebrations and may the relationship between Australia and Turkey continue to strengthen into the future. Have a great day, thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, next, Mr. Has Mustafa OAM is of Turkish Cypriot heritage and migrated to Australia with his family at the age of 10. He is currently the General Manager of Multicultural Community Banking at the Commonwealth Bank of Australia, one of our major sponsors since the inception of the festival. Has is also President of the Australian Turkish Business Council and was awarded the Order of Australia Medal in 2014. Has Mustafa, our major sponsor. Thank you, Rahim. And uh, what a fantastic sight it is today. And uh, I guess when I was uh, standing there waiting to come up here, I started thinking about where this began. And uh, the planning for this festival began 11 years ago with myself and Jamal Akdeniz. And 11 years down the track, what a fantastic festival that we've created here. So before I begin, I'd like to uh, acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land which we are gathered the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation and pay my respect to their leaders, both past and present. I also would like to uh, acknowledge uh, Uncle Ron for that beautiful welcome to country and also uh, acknowledge Jamal Akdeniz, OAM, President of the Moreland Turkish Association, Mr. Mehmet Kuchuk Sakala, Turkish Consul General, my good friend, Ms. Natalie Suleiman, MP, State Member for St Albans, representing the Minister for Multicultural Affairs and the Honourable Robin Scott. Another group friend, Bruce Atkinson, MLC, President of the Legislative Council, Inga Pulic, Shadow Minister for Multicultural Affairs and Member for Eastern Metropolitan Region. Thank you so much for those kind words, uh, Inga. My other good friend who unfortunately had to leave earlier, Dr. Bulan Hastalal, AO, Chairperson SBS Board and Executive Director of Australian Multicultural Foundation, Senator Dr. Richard Di Natale, Leader of the Greens Party, Ms. Maria Vembekunumu, MP, Federal Member for Colwell, my other good friend, Frank McGuire, MP, member for Broad Meadows, and Councillor Philip Lee Lu, City of Melbourne. As well as my, my good friend, Mr. Hayat Hassan Sayad, Honourable Representative of the Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, and Jill Morgan, CEO of Multicultural Arts Victoria. Other distinguished guests, please forgive me if I've uh, been, oh, forgotten your name or I forgot to uh, uh, mention you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 11th Commonwealth Bank Queen Victoria Market Turkish Bazaar Festival. I am absolutely delighted to be here today representing Commonwealth Bank as a proud sponsor. I would also firstly would like to thank Jamal Akdeniz and his team who have done an exceptional job organising the event which has been going for 11 years. Please put your hands together for Jamal Akdeniz. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the festival today is an event that gives us the opportunity to celebrate 
the color, character and beauty of the Turkish culture, which has been in existence in Australia for 70 years now. It first began in 1947 with the arrivals of Turks from uh, Cyprus and later on in 1968. And I uh, have very fond memories of my late father-in-law, Hussein Hassan, telling me the stories of the excitement that they had in 1968 um, of actually going to the airport for the first time and greeting the first comers and also helping them settle on Camp Road Broad Meadows. So the Turkish community has done an exceptional job in, in, uh, in Victoria and in Australia. And the Turkish community is no longer on the assembly lines of the Ford factory and other factories. The Turkish community should be extremely proud of its achievements. Today, they actually occupy the boardrooms of large corporate companies, large law firms, accounting firms, teachers, and also very fine tradesmen. So we should be extremely proud of our achievements. And we should also continue to salute how we've actually contributed to the economy and culture of Australia. And I'm extremely proud to call myself an Australian from a Turkish Cypriot background and I'm very passionate about supporting the multicultural community of Australia. This year, I celebrate 50 years since I actually stepped foot uh, in Port Melbourne on Melbourne Cup Day in 1968. And I can stand here today and talk to you as a general manager of one of the largest corporate firms in Australia. And I think my own personal story says a lot about Australia. In my opinion, Australia is still the lucky country and is still the land of opportunity for people from all faiths and, and irrespective of uh, your cultural background. And we should continue to contribute to the fantastic multicultural Australia that we've actually built. And we here today to also celebrate, celebrate all the things that make this country one of the most successful multicultural nations on earth. And the Turkish community has been very supportive of the Commonwealth Bank and it gives me great pleasure to be able to show our support for the Turkish community and our support for their support over, spending over many years by being a sponsor of this event. The Commonwealth Bank is the largest financial services provider in Australia with, with more than 52,000 employees, 16 million customers and over 1,300 branches. We are committed to supporting communities and our vision excel at securing and enhancing the financial well-being of people, businesses and communities. We thank you for your ongoing support and I would really would welcome you to visit our marquee today. We have a lot of giveaways for you and we hope that you have a very enjoyable day today celebrating the culture that has been in existence in Australia for now 70 years. If I may, I'd like to say a few words in Turkish. Hoş geldiniz, şeref verdiniz. Bugün sizlere çok teşekkür etmek istiyorum. Çünkü siz bu güzel kültürümüzü 70 yıl vardır şu yaşatıyorsunuz. Lütfen bu güzel Kıp Kıbrıs Türk kültürümüzü ve Türk kültürümüzü her zaman için bu ülkede yaşatalım. Çünkü bizim kültürümüz çok zengin bir Türk kültürdür. Ve ne mutlu Türk'üm diyene hepinize iyi eğlenceler. Thank you Has. Thank you our major sponsor Has Mustafa from the Commonwealth Bank. Ladies, uh, I would, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to now uh, invite on stage Mr. Frank Maguire, MP, member for Broadmeadows, the Turkish capital of Melbourne. He stole my line. Yes, Broadmeadows is the Turkish capital of, Broad, of uh, Australia, not just Victoria, of Australia. So I want to welcome everybody and all the distinguished guests. And if you're here, you're one of the distinguished guests. What about a round of applause for everybody here today? And the Broadmeadows story is symbolic of what we're actually celebrating. Over a hundred years ago, the army camp in Broadmeadows is where the diggers, the light horsemen and the VC winners were trained and dispatched to fight at Gallipoli. Do you know? Then with the ebb and flow of history, part of that compound was turned into the migrant hostel where Turkish families en masse first called Australia home. So this is what we commemorate today. That uh, 
The Turkish Cypriots came 70 years ago, but the main Turkish migration came half a century ago. And have a look at how it has developed and thrived and how it's become such an integral part of Australia, the country we all call home. And I have great respect and regard for people who have made this journey. The families had the imagination, the dream of a better future for their children and the courage to cross the world to pursue it. So what about a round of applause for everybody who's here, who has done that? It's a fantastic thing. And it's important to me because this is my family's story as well, so that's why I have such high regard. And today, if you think about the examples that we've had in politics, you've got Natalie Suleiman here, representing the Labour Party. Her dad, Haki, is here. Now, she's the first woman of Turkish background to actually be elected to a parliament in Australia. An outstanding uh, achievement. You have uh, Hus Mustafa, who's uh, just spoken, how he has risen to become one of our corporate leaders with the Commonwealth Bank, and he does a, a great job, particularly for the uh, Turkish community in Melbourne's north as well. And we have not just bipartisanship, we have political representatives right across the board here. We have Bruce Atkinson, the uh, uh, President of the Legislative Council, Inga Pulik here as well from the Liberal Party. We have uh, S Senator Di Natale from the Greens. Uh, Maria Van Vickenu from the Labour Party, the same as me. We represent the area of Broadmeadows, as I say, which is the Turkish heartland. So this is what helps to build a country. It's the will and the wit and the nous of the people who have come here. Yes, they may have started on the assembly lines uh, where multicultural, uh, multiculturalism was forged in Melbourne's north, and then they worked through the community and now have a uh, high office in the professionals, professional uh, jobs, and right through the community from blue collar to white collar jobs. And it says that you can enjoy the history and the heritage of your country of birth and origin. No one understand it. That's what I say to all the young children in the schools in my electorate but then enjoy the privilege and be part of the world's most livable city and the land of opportunity, as my late dad always called Australia. So it has been for all of us. We should never forget that. I pass on the regards from Premier Dan Andrews, from Robin Scott, the Minister for Multiculturalism as well. And I want you all to celebrate the music, the food, the culture. And I still always say that I've solved that um, ancient discussion about who makes the best baklava. Is it the Turks? Is it the Lebanese? Or is it the Greeks? They say, no, no, no. It's their descendants from Broadmeadows. Thank you. Thank you very much, Frank Maguire, member for Broadmeadows. Ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, we have a very, very important person. We have the Honourable Bruce Atkinson, MLC, the President of the Legislative Council of Victoria. Mr. Bruce Atkinson, welcome, sir. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I understand that I am the one thing standing between you and the entertainers. And that is a very dangerous place to be. In fact, I would rather be down there with you watching the entertainers than listening to me speak. Why do we have so many speeches today? It is because there were representatives from different levels of government and indeed from different political parties and representatives of local government who all thought that they should make a short contribution today for this important festival simply because it is absolutely important to acknowledge the achievements of the Turkish community and its ongoing contribution to the advancement of Victoria and Australia here today. Thank you for sharing the talents of your young people and some who are a little bit closer to my age in the entertainers. Thank you for sharing so much of your culture in terms of the stalls that are here at the Queen Victoria Market today. I'm not going to run through the roll call because that would make me go much longer in this speech and you don't want that. All I want to do is to say, have a great year. Thank you to all those people who've been involved in the organisation of this extraordinary event. Enjoy the food, enjoy the entertainment, enjoy the culture. 
and express your gratitude to the Turkish community for the contribution that, that they have made to Victoria. Thank you. Değerli konuklar, sevgili misafirler, bu güzel grubu ellerinizin en kuvvetli şekilde alkışlamanızı istiyorum. Kıbrıs'tan, Türkiye'den, Avustralya'ya gelip bizleri 70. veya 50. yıl etkinlikleri kapsamında başlayan programlarında destekledikleri için, aramızda bulundukları için bu yürekli insanlara gerçekten teşekkür ediyorum. Sağ olsunlar, var olsunlar. Bu arada bizim etkinliklerimi siz başarıyla sunan İbrahim kardeşimize de bir teşekkür arz etmek istiyorum. Çünkü çok yoruyoruz kendisini. İki gün boyunca burada yürüdü, vurdu, beraber oldu bizlerle beraber. Bit, bit alkış da sizlere yapmak istiyoruz. Kendinize yapmak istiyoruz. Bu alkışlar sizlerin olsun. Sizler burada olmasanız bu festivali biz gerçekleştiremeyiz. Gerçekten varsınız. Şu alanı gördüğünüz zaman ben buradan görüyorum. Gerçekten binlerce kişi burada. Gayet güzel bir şekilde. Sağ olun, var olun. Yüreklerinize sağlık. Elinize, dilinize sağlık. İnşallah gelecek yılki festivalde buluşmak dileğiyle. Hoşçakalın. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Mr. Cemal Akdeniz, the president of the Moran Turkish Association, we would like to thank you all for attending our 11th Commonwealth Bank Queen Victoria Market Turkish Festival. We had a great time over two year, two days. Uh, we'd like to thank all the performers locally and in the state. Uh, group Mosaic, Group Okyanos, uh, Iskela Babutsa, Akin Zabit, the Mehter Band, and everybody else, all the schools that attended. We'd like to thank them all. We'd like to thank all the volunteers. We'd like to thank our major sponsors, the Commonwealth Bank, Sahara. Who else do we need to mention? Jamal Abir. We need to mention, there's a whole bunch of them. But just briefly, we want to say thank you for making it a success this year again, the 11th festival. We look forward to having another one next year. You will all be invited. Round of applause for everybody, including yourselves. Thank you very much. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you.